Look at this. Steal my game. You mean someone steals from our traps, Joe? Yeah. Damn. A theory that many anthropologists have considered is that this creature could possibly be a mutated bear or a gorilla. Some scientists absolutely scoff at the idea of a Sasquatch, a Bigfoot, a Yeti, a skunk ape, or whatever you want to call him. Hey, Jonah, you got this one too? Yeah. Science has been proven wrong on many occasions with regard to evolution in the animal kingdom. For instance, 1938, a fish caught off the coast of Africa supposedly extinct 70 million years. Just a few years back, a tribe of Indians found in Philippines their living habits and tools, supposedly what prehistoric man used to be. They had never seen civilization. Out of here. There is one good note, though. There's never been a report or an incident of this creature ever attacking or harming a human being. Wait! 
done research, you've done research, we know it's in southern Arkansas or northern Louisiana. And we're willing to do it, we got the summer free, the only thing we lack are two things. That's money and wheels. You don't really want to go down there, don't you? Man, I want to prove its existence. Prove its existence. <laughs> Anybody eat so many hamburgers in my entire life? Chicken. Chicken? I'm from the chicken capital of the world. And my daddy was the king. So we had chicken for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We had chicken fried, barbecued, stewed, skewered. We had chicken. My mother one day tried to make chicken jello. <laughs> well, that explains it. Do you really believe there's a creature? Yeah, I do. Just like any other phenomena, you know, UFOs and stuff like that. You kind of believe, but you never really believe until you see one. There's a guy down here, never made the papers like the thing down in Wall City. This guy comes home from work one day. The two kids are a wreck. They're saying, Daddy, we saw the booger man. We saw the booger man. We saw him. I mean, but they're scared. So he thought the wife was telling stories, right? He says, what have you been telling them? And she can't handle any of it anymore. And snaps. 
right in front of his very eyes. I mean, it flips out. They all go in the loony bin. So this guy is just, what happened? So he goes out for 21 days stalking this thing. By himself? By himself. Yeah. And if my memory serves me well, it's right around his parts here someplace. He goes. Search party goes out after him. And they found him. Totally dismembered. And his gun wrapped around a tree. I believe I relieved myself. Out down here. Uh, we got a lot of iced coffee. You like some? Sure. Well, pretty good. Throw us a cup of coffee. I'm changing my pants. Man, it is hot. How much further we got to get there? Because, uh, we got enough time for a little nap before lunch. Almost there. So just drive on. <laughs> Trapper and his friend that was killed or lost. You know a guy named Joe Kent? Do you know about any creature that lives around here? Am I in Oil City, Louisiana? Come in. Have a seat. I believe you're Nick. Ah, well, uh, actually, I'm not uh, shopping for a haircut today. Well, it kind of looks like you need one. Uh, no, actually, I'm a student from the University of Chicago, and I'm down here doing some research on the Bigfoot creatures. I don't know if anybody had seen it. I was wondering uh, anybody claimed to have seen it. Like that trapper I read about, lost his partner? Well, I don't know anything about that creature. Maybe you better talk to this man right here. Okay. Look, son. I'm sure it's Billy Carter. And it's my duty to protect the citizens of this parish. That includes keeping them from getting riled up over a wild rumor. Now, you're welcome here. So long as you don't go nosing around scaring the daylights out of these people about some mysterious monster. We've had more problems than we can say grace over that without you. Yeah, what about that traffic? Could I see a police report, please? You don't listen very well, do you? 
I told you to forget about any creature you're talking about. Now, if you don't, you're going to have to start doing business with me. Did I make myself clear? Oh, yeah. Perfectly clear. Good. Good afternoon. And I'd like to hold your, I'd like for you to hold a tomato. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> hey, 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 please. Uh, sit down, please. I'm Pop. Eve. Listen, uh, we're a couple of college students who are doing research uh, from the University of Chicago on the Bigfoot creature. And what did you say? Bigfoot creature. What we were... H.B., this fellow here is looking for the Bigfoot creature. <laughs> and he's from Chicago. <laughs> H.B., you know anything about any creature? Sure do. Is that right? I was laying up there in bed one night. I heard something stirring out in the kitchen. I got my gun and my flashlight. I went to creep up off the floor there. Shut the door aside, and there I was, standing face to face, holding red eyes and that long stringy hair. Oh. oh. Yeah, well, well, what? What happened? Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> The trapper. Where is he? Well, I lost him. He lost him. Yeah. Nice going. Don't worry about it. I already had a warning from the town sheriff to get about any kind of creature. Great start. Hey. Ah, uh, listen. It might not be any of my business. Um, but I heard what was going on in the barber shop, and, uh, well, seeing how, uh, you're researching, uh, I figure I might as well tell you. Tell me what? I see me. You saw Joe Canton? <laughs> no. <laughs> I saw the creature. Listen, I, hey, I don't want this getting around. And, uh, seeing as how I could use a ride home, I figure I could tell you on the way out there. Step into my office. Papu! Oh, come on, I want you to be comfortable, man. Yeah? You live close by? No, uh, 
I live out in the country. It's, it's on down. Well, Orville Bridges, tell us about your experience with the creature. Did you really see him? Experience of what creature? Well, why does everybody clam up when we talk about the creature? Orville, well, we're talking about the creature who supposedly lives in this area. Yeah, well, uh, my memory is just uh, not too good right now. I tell you what, though, you turn that tape recording machine off, my memory might improve. How'd you know that was us? Those old country boy ain't quite as stupid as what you like to make. Uh, we didn't think you were stupid, Orville. No, we weren't trying to trick you or anything. I mean, this is just a part of our research. Yeah, well, just the same. Uh, I don't want this to be repeated. Deal. Deal. Okay. Well, tell you the truth. I was, uh, I was too young to remember. My grandpa told me stories so many times. I figured I could tell you as good as anybody. One day, me and uh, mom and dad just went out with a little baby. We all went out on a picnic. Grandma and grandpa. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Hot day. Flat tire. You ladies, come on, get out, please. While we fix this flat tire, take off below, then y'all get in the shade. All right, come on, Orville. Get on in the hall. Get a blanket? Yeah. Mm. I don't know why you I think we don't want to. Get right on it. Get right on it. Get on that shade. That young woman. Come on, get that hook that way. No, Ma, they've been gawking ever since you left. Mama, Mama, Mama. Well, don't you fret none, honey. No. Men folk always fuss. No. You Mama. pay them no mind. Mama. 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 Well, you stay right here Mama. and don't go running off. God damn it, Grandpa. I can't get this last lug off. I've been looking at you all day. 
Say, Grandpa? What? Only town this morning got a haircut just like Grandma said. Well, you look a lot better. You was getting to look more like a dead gum hippie every day. Who are these two fellas? Is uh Pahu? That's three. Pahu? Yes, sir. <laughs> God, Good you. <laughs> you boys ain't from around here. No, no, sir. We're from Chicago. Yeah? Yeah, we're anthropology students here doing a research project on the bipedal primate that was reported in these parts. What'd you say? It's a scientific term. It means a creature that uh, walks on its hind legs. Come here. What you been telling them, boys? And Grandpa, I, I didn't, I didn't think that. Oh, you didn't think it. Best thing for y'all is to get out of here. We don't want nobody snooping around here making us look like a bunch of dumb rednecks. Now, what we see and what we hear is our own business. So get out of here. Mr. Bridges, we're not trying to make you look like a bunch of dumb rednecks. The only thing that's peculiar about this is that you people have obviously seen something and are reluctant to talk about it. We're afraid to. Now, if there is something out there, well, we're here to find it, or capture it if necessary, but we can't do that without the cooperation of people that have seen it. Doesn't look like we're going to get any. Come on, Pahu, let's get out of here. Reese, what about that $25? What $25? $25 that we're saving to give to the person who cooperates? First cooperate for the reward money. Reward. reward? Wait a minute. Hey, Arvo, go on and tell your grandma to spare a couple extra plates. We're going to feed some Yankee boys. You don't end that. <laughs> now, boy, what, uh, what was that uh, y'all talking about, that reward? For information. Information? Well, y'all come on in here up on the porch and we'll talk it over, yeah? <laughs> you boys like it down here? Yeah, it's a little hot. Oh, it gets a little hot, but the heck, it's nice down here. We've got good food down here, boys. Wait. What's that? The reward. There's 20. Sure enough, there's been a few Yankee boys. <laughs> sure enough. Dogs bobbing blue with a growl and a barking, and the worst scream you ever did hear. I walked out on the porch. like an old cat being cornered by a red bone hound. Wait a Well, you boys almost ready to eat? Supper's nearly ready. Yes, ma'am, honey. <laughs> Wait a minute, boys. I don't want you Yankee boys to say one word about that creature. You hear? Yes, sir. Because it just scares the devil out of my wife. 
All right. Let's go and get some meat, boys. Tell y'all the way it is. It's the best food you boys ever had. You get on this side and I sit down there. Woo! How many sit down there? What did you say your first name was? Pahu. Pahu. Oh, what's good? Pahu. Beans? Uh, Beans? Yeah. Green? Oh, that looks good. Chicken? Uh, you boys like chicken, I know. I know you like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon it's about my favorite. Go on over and sit down, Ma. Oh. <laughs> sure is good, I'll tell you that much. We start next week. Huh? We, uh, I don't mind you eating, but we always thank a good long push. Lord, I want to thank for this day, even though it was hot. I want to thank for my wonderful wife, for our grandson, Arvo, and for giving him the inspiration to get a haircut. I want to thank for these two boys who come down to visit us, even if they're all Yankees. I want to thank for all the vittles, especially the chicken. Amen. 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 Now, y'all stop this right on around here. Because when it gets back around here, it's from your garden? Yeah. Well, we have yeah. greens. Yeah, we just don't Everything get that. Here we grow now, it this is yeah. good food. I love it. Organic. That's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you eat that chicken because it's really good. Yeah, I'll put it off first, right? We got more, plenty more of it, too. Right? How about some more greens, Reggie? Sure. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. 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 You know something, I can't remember having such a fine meal. Well, thank you. I'll have a little more. It's <laughs> <laughs> for you, Oh, well, you know, you're something. Well, you know, I, I do enjoy good home cooking. You know, I caught a catfish one time, weighed 350 pounds. Really? And I took that sucker home, took it back to the house, and fed him out of reading and writing. Well, that's good. 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 No, that was just our mule. I just can't believe y'all did that after me asking you not to. We're sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that's okay. Um, but as you can see, my granddad's uh, really sensitive about it. Yeah. Well, listen, you, uh, no place around here we could camp tonight. Yeah, sure. Why don't you, uh, why don't you just stay out in the barn tonight? Knob one quarter to the left. Oh, oh. light. Oh, Reed. I believe 
believe I eat too much. <clears throat> How many times have I told you and reminded you about your dietary habits? It's got nothing to do with hamburgers, french fries, and cokes. It was this chicken. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Arrived in Oil City, 11.47 a.m., weather conditions, etc., etc., same as last report. We met the local sheriff. Tell him I wouldn't want to mess with him. For sure. Initially, no new data. Only after brilliant interrogation on Mr. Lewis's behalf, did we lose some valuable and pertinent information as to the whereabouts of Joe Canton the Trapper. Oh. Yeah, all right. Ah, we did meet a local family, one uh, Bridges family, uh, Orville Bridges in particular. to talk about this subject. Wonder why. I've heard screams. I mean, I was in Vietnam. I heard screams. As a matter of fact, I used to go with an old gal every time she'd get excited, she'd scream. Now, that scream scares me. I'll tell you what I think we ought to do is just gather up all our equipment and just head back to the Windy City and we'll just call this whole thing a misadventure. Reeves, old buddy, you listening to me? I'll be in touch with you. Right. Thanks. Do you want to know what he said? Huh? After me. <laughs> Oh, 
I believe I just fell in love. Oh, is she a beauty? Those are eyes. Thank you. Dr. Birch believes it. What do you say then? Well, he wants to have a sound expert examine the tape to determine whether or not it is a fake. Uh. Listen to it again. Then you tell me if you think it's a phone, okay? I believe, I believe. Just listen to it again. Okay. Wonder why. Funny. We didn't get to eat. She threw the food at us. That was funny. She was beautiful, though. She was beautiful. The girls were beautiful across the counter. The redhead. Did you see her? She was looking at me. Oh, what I wouldn't. The skin, the hair, the eyes. It was just. It was all there. Hi. 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 You enjoy your meal? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, I think the waitress did. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I right. You girls live around here? Sure. Live here all our lives. Oh, really? Well, my name's Reed. My name's Becky. And this is I'm Michelle. Becky. I'm Michelle. This is Pahu. Pahu? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. You're the guys from Chicago, aren't you? How do you know that? Well, in town this guy's word gets around. Oh, damn. Oh, what do you all do here at night? Oh, we just do what comes natural. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Listen, um, we're going to set up camp tonight outside of town, the state park, you know where. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you drive by about 7.30? Seven. What do you think? Yeah. Sure, sounds interesting. Wow. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Ooh. That's good. What's wrong? Here comes the man. The what? Ooh, he's a mean one. Well, we had a little discussion yesterday. Business, you know. Hi, Dad. Baggy, it's a nice prayer meeting. I met your mother, won't you, home early? Sure. Well, did you sleep on the conversation we had in the barbershop yesterday? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Thank you. Going home, dear. You don't look like oh. you, Dad. <laughs> What'd I tell you? We gotta be cool. Casual. Just quiet, quick. You know, we haven't been waiting. Or... Hi! Hi! Oh, we're just sitting around. Sorry we're late, but we had to go to prayer meeting. Oh. Uh, I'm glad you guys could come. And you guys, like, I mean, would you all like a beer? <laughs> Love one. Yeah, I'd like one. Here, Mother Nature. Want to do what comes natural? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, you Chicago people don't waste much time, do you? No, I'll write like down. Well, I like you. Uh, now you, you really can't waste time because, well, life's the short. You're right. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that the other day. Oh, great. Hey, uh, it looks like we're going to have to move inside. That's why we're here. We're mm -hmm. just... I did some research on the creature one night. Had a date with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, you... Ready for the north to meet the south? Well, why not? Okay. Well, watch out, because here comes the north. No. There's a creature. are you doing?
No. Well, if you do, we're both going to have a big laugh. Because you're going to the slammer. What? Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Now, get up and come off on me. be nice to you. All packed up and get out of here, understand? Ten minutes, all that time. Dee Dee loves Willie. Willie loves Dimples. Dimples loves Mabel. Mabel, I am not sending any more deputies out there. Because every time I send one out, he comes back all scratched up before you jumped on him. <laughs> if you're writing graffiti on these walls, you're in big trouble. If you're standing on my table writing graffiti on these walls, you're in bigger trouble. Sign Billy Carter. Get all the men you can and bring all your ammo. Come on, hurry up. 
Go. Yeah. Come on. Go. Swear I've seen the creature. He damn near come into my house. Go. Go. Just what in the hell are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you I've seen the creature. He's that big. Joe, have you been drinking? You don't believe me. Close your eyes. Hold your left arm straight out and touch the end of your nose. You've been drinking, all right. Just a little bit. claim his partner was attacked by a bipedal primate? Well, what? I mean a creature of some sort. up on that invitation. You mind if we follow you out the airplane? Well, you think you can keep up with me. Sweet home. <laughs> Just make yourself comfortable here. I'll, I'll pick yourself and swap coffee. Tell us some more about what happened to your friend.
Well, I don't talk about my private matters to just anybody, but I guess since we was all just in the calaboose together, it don't matter. I went back in them swamps a hell of a lot farther than I ever been before. And I found the tracks. And I started falling. And they just went in deeper and deeper and deeper. And that's when I began to notice something kind of strange. There's lots of birds and that little stuff around. But there wasn't no big game at all. Now, I've been trapping in these here swamps for 40 years, and I know I should have found some wild pigs or some coons or something. And I come up over a little knoll, and I smell something. There was something dead in that wind of me. It stunk up the whole place. So I headed that way. And that's when I found what I was looking for. It was a wild boar, about a 200-pounder, was all clawed up, a couple of big bites out of his gut. Neck would just snap like a stick. Been dead about a week. Went on about another 50 feet. And there was a big boar hog, about 400 pounds, all squashed up like it was a little wet rag. A couple of big bites out of him. He wasn't that all up, just a couple of bites. Went on a little fire and was another. Couple of bites out of him. Squashed up. Back broken. So far there was another. And then another. And I stand there in the middle of all this stuff. And that's the first time I heard it. What was it? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. That's what I heard. Listen, boy. Hear all them living creatures here? They they talking, they squawking away. That's what the swamps is. They they talking all the time, and there's noise. It ain't never nothing, and it was nothing. Not a Tell us how to get out there? Well, you go through that gate over there. Get up the hill. Stay to the right of the ridge. Then just keep going, going, going as far as you can go. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, Thank you, Joe. Nice meeting you. Go ahead and make jokes. You stupid... I don't think you understand how dangerous this can be. 
I mean, I've been in places just like this, just like this. In Nam. Yeah, I was running around getting my butt shot at while you're probably lollygagging around Canada. better go back now. The van's not far from here. Keys are in it. Got you in here. I can get you out again. Because the last thing I need right now from you is trouble. I wanted to just get out of here. You know, I might just do that. Scientific importance makes the danger all worthwhile, doesn't it? I'm glad to hear that. Because I think something's been circling the camp. Now? Why don't you tell me? I wasn't sure. I just lost my appetite.
Clear 190. Clear 190. Have a May Day. May Day, please. Clear. Clear 190. Clear 190, please. I have a May Day. I have a May Day. Never mind. Get off the line. Dude, get off our band. Pulling my leg, do this. Come on now. 19 clear, please. 19 clear, please. I have a May Day. Come on, it's an emergency. Boy, that sounds just great. You know, I just come down from Nashville. I spent the week up there, and man, I gotta tell you something, fat boy. There is the place to be. And I know what you're talking about. Country music, fine women, right? Ooh, those country women. Yeah, I gotta tell you something about them country women. Of course, I don't dare tell you over this band. This is Sheriff Carter here. Who's calling my name? I said, who's calling? Yes, clear. Here, 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 here. I Uh, Slow down, buddy boy. I can't understand you. We got a, a, about 25 miles east of Joe Kent's place of the old Swamp Road of County 90. You got that? And hurry and come as fast and as come as fast as you can. Okay. okay. Are you there? I got you. Just just take it easy. I'm on my way. Thank you.
Lieutenant Carter, open the door. What happened, mate? What? What happened, brother? I, come on. I was looking in the... Come on. For the thing. Come on, let's go. And I... He came out. All right. That's all right. Of, uh, That's all right. Get it. And I said...
Why are you asking about you? I think she's ready for another hot date. <laughs> I guess you could care less about that right now. You can't even hear me, can you? Uh -huh. Amen. You hear me now? You gotta make it. Because, well, we got a lot of things to do. We have places to go, people to see, and I can't stand to see a lion there like that. Damn it. I could do something I could get. Buy hamburger, french fries, and a coke. Hey, uh -huh. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm a little beat up. I'm a little mad at this point. I don't blame you. I had no idea what this was going to happen. Hey, partner, I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad that we got to start this dang project all over again. <laughs> you got to be kidding. It's out there somewhere. I'm going to find it. Right, partner? Something that you like 